Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I want to show you guys the look that I was wearing in my fake mask makeup look that wasn't real. It wasn't like a real thing, even though some people thought that it was. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put it in the information box. But a lot of the comments were about the actual makeup look and how to recreate it, so that's what I'm doing today. I want to show you guys how to do that, plus my hair as well, because I finally got one of these. I'm so excited. I've wanted one of these hot hair brushes for ages and now I finally have one thanks to Vanity Planet because they were like, do you want to try our one? And I was like, yes please. So they sent this out to me and they sponsored this video so huge thank you to them and also they gave me a discount code so check out the information box for that. Wait for the shine that it gives your hair. It's crazy. Let's get started. So this is what I look like first thing in the morning. My hair looks a bit 80s. So I'm going to give it a brush through and then I'm going to turn on my hot brush. So this actually goes up to 370 but I'm gonna leave it at about like 250 to 300 because my hair is quite thin and grab some Velcro rollers as well. Using a section wide enough for the brush but not too thick and just work this against the brush, like lay it over the brush and then run it down and catch it before it falls. And then while it's still warm, wrap it up in a Velcro roller. And you basically do this all over your head. You look like a little bunny rabbit for a second. But you're gonna do this all over. And I use larger rollers at the top and then go to medium and small as I work my way down. Look at that shine. You could actually apply your makeup in how shiny your hair looks. It's like a mirror. Once that's all done, I move on to my fringe and I actually turn the brush off and just use the rest of the heat to work through my fringe and smooth it out. And just pin it away because we have to do our makeup. I'm gonna start off with this hydrating milky mist spray and just spritz that all over my skin. And we're actually gonna start off with the eyes. So I'm using a concealer and a primer mixed together. I'm gonna to arch out my eyebrows and also my eyelids. And then just use a foundation brush to blend it in. Using a mixture of Katie and Dodo, I'm going to use an E44, which is a flat topped brush to fill in my eyebrows. It's all about being quite precise with this look. It's not a lot of makeup, it's just about the application. And taking Lily on a clean E44, we're gonna blend around the brows to really sharpen them up. Moving on to the eyelids, I'm gonna take this orangey blush and apply this into the crease of the eye using a blending brush. Just working this over and back. With the shade Toby, which is kind of a similar shade, we're going to apply this a little bit lower in the crease and we're still working it over and back. And then taking a mixture of the shade Susu and Dodo, we're going to apply this into the crease again, working over and back. To keep the eyelid quite sharp, I'm gonna use Lily right in the center of the lid and then use that blending brush just to go around the edges to soften it out. But it's a really simple look. Curl your eyelashes and I also applied some falsies. These are my new favorites. I showed you guys how to apply them on Monday, so go and check out that video. I love these lashes though. And then moving back to the face, we're gonna use that misting spray again on a cotton pad and just get rid of any excess eyeshadow underneath the eyes. For primer, I'm using the new Urban Decay ones and these are amazing. I'll do a full video on them really soon. I love them so much. For foundation, I mixed up two different shades, a darker shade to match my tan and then a lighter shade just to blend it out. And I buffed that out with a blending brush and set everything in place with, of course, L'Oreal True Match. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm gonna take a panel brush and the shade Toby and I work this underneath the eyes. Then using that orangey shade, we're gonna work this a little closer to the lashes. And then with the black from this palette and that E44 that we used on the brows, we're going to apply this right underneath the lashes. Though I did get a bit of eyeshadow in my eyes and it was like making me blink, but just try not to do that. On the waterline to keep it nice and bright, I used a peachy nude shade and then finished off with Lulu on that inner corner. Then you can apply some mascara on the lower lashes and we're done for the eyes. Let's move back to the face. Using the contour shade number 20 and the F30, I'm going to work this into the hollow of the cheeks. This brush is amazing. I forgot how good it is. I'm like, oh, I need to use this more often. It also works great for around the hairline as well. So not just those cheeks, but also the hairline. It also has a baby sister, which I'm gonna use on my nose. So I'm gonna use the lightest shade, the lightest matte shade, and work this on the edge of my nose. And I do this really weird nose thing. And this is how I contour my nose. I might do a full video on this, it's quite funny. To bring everything together, we're gonna to use that same blush that we used on the eyes on the cheeks this time, because that's usually where you put blush. And then I applied a hell of a amount of Lulu just like all over my face. Like I went a little crazy with the highlighter. You can definitely just adapt this to whatever works for you. On the lips, I used LOV Lip Scrub. This is to kind of get them prepped and ready. I love this though, it's really handy to use. And then I applied a lip balm over the top. While that's settling in, I'm going to remove my rollers. Look at that shine. 
the volume. I like to kind of push it upwards and apply some hairspray and it locks it in. I'm doing this to my hair every day now. And moving back to the lips, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner and then my new favorite lipstick. This is my dream lipstick. Like I love this lipstick so much. It's so beautiful. I just wanna wear it every day and I probably will. That's the hair and makeup done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out the videos on the screen right now and I will see you guys on Monday.